Today's look is a classic wedding look, perfect for any special occasion, for the bride, for wedding guests, for the bridesmaids. So let's get started with skincare. It's really important that your skincare routine is locked in place. Don't do anything dramatically different. Don't change up any products. Just use what you always use. Apply your moisturizer, make sure it has no SPF, your eye cream, your lip balm, prep your skin in the same way that you always do and allow that to settle on the skin before you start your makeup. The first step in your makeup routine is applying your primer. So I'm applying this all over my skin and then I'm going in with a corrector. Correctors are sometimes confused with concealers, but they correct unwanted tones on the skin. So I'm starting off with a yellow to counteract redness. And then I'm applying my favorite foundation over the top. The correctors will do their work of counteracting any unwanted tones and the foundation will just be there to even out your skin tone. This is one of my favorite foundations for real life and for photographs, it's beautiful. And this concealer is one of my favorites to go along with it. It's a creamy, gorgeous texture, full coverage, hands down one of my favorite concealers I've ever used. And I like to go in with a damp sponge to work off any excess and really blend it into the skin. And then I set everything in place with my L'Oreal True Match Mineral Foundation. This is amazing for setting your makeup, gives you more coverage, and it will help your makeup last longer. Once I've set everything in place, I go in with a baking powder. This is gonna really help our makeup last, but it'll also catch fallout underneath our eyes. So while that's baking on the skin, we're gonna move on to the eyebrows. It's really important to apply something because your eyebrows can disappear in photographs. So apply a powder, a wax, a gel, anything at all with a little bit of color to make sure your brows don't disappear. To start off the eyes, we already have concealer and powder, but I'm going to apply this taupe shade all over the lid. Apply this right up to the brow bone, but leave that small gap underneath your brows. Using a fluffy brush will make sure we get even coverage and it'll be very light and easy to work with. And then apply texture into the crease. This is one of my favorite MAC eyeshadows. It's a beautiful neutral color, a little bit of warmth to it as well, and it works great on most eye colors. And then rice paper to the inner corner and then across the lid. This is a very basic eye makeup look, but I think it works really well on most people. Underneath the brows, we're gonna use a brow highlight. Go as light as you want. I like to be a little bit more subtle. Using my contour powder that I'm gonna use later, I'm gonna work this into the crease. Using things that you're gonna use in the rest of your face, like your blush and your contour, will bring the entire look together. My favorite step is this one. Use a flat brush and a black eyeshadow and apply this right at the lash line. This photographs beautifully. It's not too harsh, it's very subtle, and it's very easy to do as well. You're gonna apply it right at the lash line and then flatten the brush and push upwards just on that outer corner. This will add some definition to the eyes and will mask any eyelash glue or any eyelashes that you're applying later as well. And repeat the same process just underneath the lashes on the lower lash line to add some definition as well. And then using texture just underneath that to blend out the black so it's not too harsh. I'm going to use a white eyeliner on my waterline, but then I also go in with a concealer shade over the top of that so it's not too harsh. And just repeat the same process on the other eye. Welcome back to the eyes in a minute, let's move on to the face. I'm going to use the NYX contour powder. Apply the desired contour, whatever it works for your skin tone, underneath right at the hollow of the cheeks, above where we applied the powder. This will make sure that we don't blend it down too far and it will give definition to your face, particularly in photographs. I use a small brush to apply it and then a larger brush to blend it out. And I'm also using the E10 to contour the nose with the same shadow. Brush off that powder and we should have a nice bright finish. But to add some more of a highlighted look, I'm going to apply my favorite highlighter. This is actually an eyeshadow, but it looks beautiful on very pale skin. I also use a pencil brush to apply it on the tip of my nose, on the bridge of your nose, which also makes your nose look straighter, by the way, on the cupid's bow, just underneath the arch, very small amount, brush off the excess, and also to the inner corner of the eyes as well. Curl your eyelashes and apply plenty of mascara, but we all know I'm a huge fan of mascara. And I'm also applying black eyelash glue along the lash line. And then I'm gonna go in with my eyelashes. This will make sure the eyelashes only stick where you want them to stick. If you're not very good at doing eyeliner, I would use a clear one instead of using a black because the black glue is a little bit tricky to work with unless you're used to it. But the black glue does add more definition to the eyes. Once you've applied the lashes, push them down slightly just to make sure they're sitting on your natural ones. I'm also gonna apply some lower lashes. A lot of you guys have been asking about this. They do add so much definition to your eyes, but they're not for everybody. Apply it underneath your lashes and then push upwards and finish off with the mascara. Moving back to the face, I'm going to apply my blush. I always like to leave my blush to last so I can make sure it matches my lipstick option. And today I've decided to go for more of a kind of a pinky, corally kind of lip instead of my usual nude. 
but I did mix in a little bit of concealer with my lipstick to lighten it slightly. And now that my look is finished, I can blow out my jewel candle. And this is really cool because not only is it a beautiful candle, but there's also a gift inside. So I wanted to give you guys a chance of winning one of these because I think this makes an amazing gift for a wedding or a special occasion. You can choose from different varieties of scents and different jewelry options. Definitely check out the information box where you guys can win one or if you just want to order one yourself. And I will see you guys.